hello everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you my people and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys we really really love and appreciate you yes my people we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country we all um, know the breaking news that has been in the country is regarding the Edo State Governorship election that went down over the weekend with um, Governor Obaseki, the incumbent governor, emerging the winner of the election. That is APC won the state. So far, um, a lot of uh, uh, um, reactions from different quarters. President Mohamed Buhari has even congratulated uh, um, um, PDP and Obaseki as well, but uh, and then um, the blame game has been played in different areas. Blame card, you know, Oshomale has been blamed for the defeat of uh, uh, APC in Edo State. One of the APC chieftain stated that Obas, uh, I beg your pardon, Oshomale was the cause of APC's loss. So, a lot of um happenings, even just yesterday evening, the news came out um, that uh, um, Governor Ganduje and Mala Bernie. That is a Yobe State Governor and um, the Chairman of the Caretaker Committee uh, met with President Mohamed Buhari, but shockingly they refused uh, to to uh, uh, um, give audience to the State House correspondents. At least let's know what they they are there for, what they want to do. We don't know what they are after, guys. Let's not also forget that um, Ize Iyamu, the candidate himself, stated that he's still studying the results. Wow. Meaning that um, he does not uh, uh, he does not really uh, um, trust what INEC did. I don't know if he's insinuating that PDP actually rigged the election because that was those were his statements. At the moment, he's still studying the results and um, he would um, reveal his next move very soon. You know, there's been speculations that he might want to contest um, the results and all of that. Guys, what we've got now is a shocking one. APC reveals while tribunal was sack Obaseki. They've also boasted ahead of Ondo State governorship election. We know Ondo State election is not long to go, but it's quite shocking that um, they have um, some reasons why they feel that um, um, this Edo State governorship election will be taken to the tribunal. You know, it's been done in different states. Maybe that is the, the norm right now in Kogi State, Bayelsa State, even in Imo State, where um, after the election, winner has been announced. The next thing is that um, um, the the opposition party drags the winner to the court. Supreme Court finally imposes who the people did not uh, um, want on them. We don't know if that's going to be the case for Edo State, but we know that um, Edo Light, they have a slogan. They've always stated that Edo is not Lagos. Anyway, guys, let's find out uh, what APC is all about what they are planning and them um, all that they've stated we'll bring you more details shortly but before we do guys please if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet go ahead and give us a thumbs up click on the like button don't forget to subscribe as well hit on the subscribe button it really does mean a lot to us thank you once again yes we'll go straight into the news now and grab all of the details edo apc reveals why tribunal will sack obaseki boast ahead of Ondo election. The All Progressive Congress APC in Ondo State has told the opposition political parties in the state that the forthcoming October 2020 governorship election will not be the same as the last Saturday polls in Edo State. The Ondo APC also said it was full of confidence that the election petition tribunal will sack Governor Gordon Obaseki and give APC victory in Edo State because, according to it, Saturday's election was mad by rigging. The APC said that anyone saying it will lose the October 10th governorship election in Ondo the same way it did in last Saturday's pool in Edo should think again. Alex Kalejai, the party spokesman in the state, pointed out that Ondo APC was united and that all stakeholders were working towards ensuring victory. He further alleged that the victory of the People's Democratic Party and Governor Godwin Obaseki in Edo State was marred by electoral fraud that would be challenged at the tribunal. According to him, the APC in Edo State is full of hope that the deniers at the election would be redressed in court. 
The understated chapter is full of confidence that the good work of the Akeredolo led administration would speak in volumes during the election in October. We are confident of victory, and the opposition parties are not aware of the degree of popularity of the ruling party, the party spokesman said in a statement. Wow, this is interesting to note. So right now, um, APC is alleging that PDP um, got involved in election malpractice. Wow. And um, they've revealed. So um, a um, APC on those chapter, they've let the cat out of the bag because we know when Pastor Saige Izeyamu stated he was still studying the results. We're not sure of what move he was going to take next. But it looks like uh, uh, on those state um, chapter, um, have um, revealed what APC is all about, what they are going to do. They've stated that uh, the Saturday's election was mild by malpractice. They believe that um, PDP uh, involved in election malpractice. But how is that really possible, guys? We I don't really know. Because um, INEC, we know from the onset, it was stated that INEC was even actually tilting to APC's side. So how possible was it? Because in order to rig the election, you have to work with INEC. INEC, they are the uh, electioneering body. A PDP cannot rig the election without the involvement of INEC. How possible is that? We know INEC has been commended for conducting a free, fair and credible election this time around. And not even only that. We know because of the international bodies that, uh, uh, they, that they've been watching everything going on in Nigeria of recent the election. And even had to place some top politicians and prominent personalities in a visa ban list. I don't think anyone wants to get himself into such a situation. You know, it's been speculated as well that one of the reasons that Buhari had to be neutral in all of this. You know, he normally flies abroad for treatment. The UK, we remember how long he stayed in the UK the last time. So he doesn't want to get himself in any in that um, situation where his name will be placed on the ban and... Uh, if he needs to travel abroad, he can't travel anymore. Anyway, guys, APC, they've come out with another one. They've revealed while tribunal was sacked Obaseki, and they've boasted that um, come October 10th, which is the date slated for Ondo state governorship election, they are definitely going to win the state. Guys, let us know what you think down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for coming out here. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Till I come your way again. Bye for now and God bless.